What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to check out Jukum Football from the Haywire Group. This is for two players, ages 8 plus. I think, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes to play. And in Jukum Football, you are going to play a family weight head-to-head -head version of football. You're going to be running the ball and passing the ball and trying to catch the ball. There'll be fumbles and sacks and interceptions, potentially even field goals in this lightweight card game. I love football. I love lightweight card games. But does this one scratch a good itch? Is that even an expression? I don't know. Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think about it. All right. So we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Jukum Footballs. First of all, we're going to handy dandy rule booklet. It's one of those super duper long rule booklets that's all folded up. It's got pictures, illustrations, double-sided, full color. Very well done. Should have you up and running in no time at all. You probably need it twice or three times and then probably never need it again so big thumbs up on the rule booklet so in jukum football you're going to get cards cards and more cards there's going to be a couple kinds of cards you're going to be get most of them are going to be runs uh most of them are going to be catches and most of them are going to be passes so run catches and passes but there also are some other cards that will spice things up along the way some defensive cards which will be red and yellow which you'll be able to play on your opponents when they play a card there's also some modifiers like a pancake block right here which will give you plus 10 when you play an offensive play there's a field goal card in here and there's also uh a jukum card which is uh, right here which will uh double the yardage that you play so there's some cards mixed in there but for the most part it is passes catches and runs so what you're trying to do is you're trying to get to exactly 100 yards in front of you if you do that you score a touchdown and then you start a new offensive drive your opponent is also going to be trying to do the same thing you're going to go until you have run through the deck completely two times at which point whoever's the most points will be the winner of the game but i'll show you how the game is played so when you first start the game you're going to start off with four cards in your hand i'll show you a card and show you how it works this card is very simple it's a run you play it down you just ran for 35 yards good for you buddy now next we have passes and we have catches now passes will have two numbers on it so this one is a pass from 5 to 20 yards so if you played this down that would mean the next card that you played would have to be a catch card that's either 5 10 15 or 20 yards because they go in increments of Five. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's show you how a turn works. So at the beginning of your turn, you're always going to draw back up to five cards, like so. Next, you're going to have a chance to play any car, offensive card you want in your hand, as long as it makes sense, and as long as it doesn't put you over 100 yards. You can't go over 100 yards, you have to hit exactly 100 yards. So we'll start off with a nice easy one. We'll do a 20-yard run. So that would be our play, and this would be the end of our turn. Now, our opponent, if they wanted to and had a yellow or red card, also at this point could potentially play a yellow or red card, which would modify the card we just played. So this is a blitz. Blitz, remove the opponent's last play, so this would be gone. Now, they might want to save that for a big play, but it is an option they could play it at any point after their opponent's turn. So when it gets back to us, we're going to draw back up to five cards, and we'll show you how a pass works. So next, I leave this run here. I put a pass right here. So this is a pass between 5 and 20 yards. That's the end of my turn. It goes on to my opponent, who's going to play another offensive play for themselves. You're both trying to get to 100 yards at the same time. Gets back to me, and looky there. So I have a catch for 10 yards, which is between 5 and 20. So I can play this right here. And right there, I am 30 yards. Uh, I'm 30 of the 100 yards I need to go in order to get the touchdown. And that's the end of my turn. Now, you may be asking yourself, what happens, though? So let's just do that. And uh, let's do, say, oh, actually, that would go over. Let's see if we can find a good example here. Uh, yeah, we'll go like this. So let's say we're at this point right here. We're at 10, 20, 55, 65, 85, where we need exactly 15 yards. So let's pretend we're looking at our hand and we're like, oh, no, this isn't going to work. There's no way we can get to exactly 100. What do you do on that? Well, when that is the case, what you're going to be doing is you're actually going to discard one of the cards in your hand instead of playing an offensive card. 
So this means next turn, you are going to be drawing one card. So you will at least have a chance the next turn to hopefully complete that drive. Uh, that, that doesn't happen too terribly often. It can happen from time to time. I'll mention that more in the pros and cons. But there's a lot of these five yard runs that will help you. There's also a field goal card that is in here that will allow you to do that. I also mentioned the kick return card, which is a really interesting card. It will let you go 50 yards. Yeah, but you have to play it first, which stinks. Uh, what's really fun is if you get the Jukum card and the kick return card and you can get a touchdown just going off it doesn't happen too frequently because as i mentioned there are not too many of those cards in the deck but as i mentioned earlier you're going to play through this deck twice at which point you will tally up the points whoever has the most points will be the winner of jukum football and that in a nutshell is how the game is played Alrighty then, Jukum Football from Haywire Group. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for a couple different reasons. Two players are a very restricted player count. Also, if you don't like football, then this one's probably not going to be for you. I mean, it's all very football-y. Now, that being said, you could completely strip the theme away from this and just make it a game about getting to 100 but the football theme does fit, so I would say if you don't like football, you probably might want to go with one of their other Jukum games, but granted, I haven't tried them yet, so I can't make that recommendation. But they do have Jukum basketball and Jukum soccer in addition to Jukum football. Continuing onward, the game is very, very simple. It is a light family weight game. It says for ages 8 plus, I'd say probably ages 6 or 7 plus. I mean, if you're playing with younger kids, you might want to give them a calculator so they can add up the numbers themselves if they can't do it. But it is an incredibly simplistic game. On your turn, you're generally going to draw one or two cards, and then you're going to play one card, and that's the end of your turn. And, and your choices are generally going to be very narrow as well, especially as you start driving down the field and you start to get closer to getting to that 100 yards. Now, another con that I have with this game is that you'll get stuck in situations from time to time where you can't get to that 100 yards, and it's really kind of annoying because you're, like, looking for that perfect card... And it's like, all right, I need a 10, or I need a 10, I need a 10, I need a 10, I need a 10, or I need a field goal. And only being able to draw one card per turn, uh, assuming you don't have a defensive card to play, is kind of annoying. So that can happen from time to time. If you're playing with younger kids who might get bored, I would recommend just going over 100 yards. You know, if you hit anything over 100 yards and you score a touchdown. Also, I feel like one minor tweak that would be made to the game that I think would make the game a little bit better uh, is to get rid of the field goal card and just have it so that if you're within, say, 25 or 30 yards, you can just kick a field goal irregardless. You just kick, I don't know if that's the right word, I always hate regardless and irregardless, but if, if you could just kick the field goal, you're like, all right, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to 100, I'm just going to kick the field goal and move on with my life. Um, any other cons I have with the game? Mm, yeah, it works a little bit samey, you know, all the players look kind of the same. Actually, actually, let me see something. Actually, let me see something. Oh my goodness, I just noticed this. Oh wait, 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 wait. okay. Yeah, okay, I thought it was all white guys. Nope, there was, there was one guy who's not white. Is there really only one? Okay, there's two. Really guys, come on, come on. There's three guys, four guys who are white. Um, yeah, so they could use some more diversity, but, but that's not pertaining to the gameplay. Moving on to the pros. <laughs> That was kind of an odd. I was not expecting that to be a con until I just started looking through it. Moving on to the pros, I do enjoy Juke Football, and I can recommend this. It's a very rock-solid, family-weight, two-player game. If you have a kid who likes football, this is definitely one you might want to get. I like the packaging. I really like the packaging. You know, it feels incredibly sturdy. Like, you could drop this off the top of a building, and I don't think it's going to break. It's got the little magnetic clasp, which is not going to come open, unlike some other magnetic clasp games. I'm looking at you, Yellow, with your cool book series that open up everywhere, and then all the components get everywhere. Then you got to clean up tortoise and hair and your missing pieces. But let's focus. Um, so I like I like the box. Uh, I personally don't mind the artwork, the graphic design. Everything is very user friendly. The rules are very very simple. They should have you up and running in no time at all. No problems with the rules. I like the gameplay. I like the simplicity of the game, and it's it's very simple. If you're looking for a family weight two player football game, this is this is a good one to get, and I can recommend it. End of the discussion. If you're not in the market for a football game, or if you're not in the market for a family weight game, or if you're not in the market for a two-player game, then you're going to want to steer clear of this one. But if you are, 
Juku Football is a very solid game that I can recommend. I'm going to be keeping this one on my shelf so I can play it with my son when he gets older because I did enjoy it. But at the same time, me and my wife both enjoyed it as well, even though it was on the simpler side. So that is Juke Football from the Haywire Group. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. Uh, they, said they made this Juke Football. Do you think it's kind of odd that they also made it Juke Basketball and Juke Soccer? Is there juking in those sports? Uh, I guess a crossover is a juke, pretty much. I don't know anything about soccer, but is it a crossover or a juke? Is that also why they don't have juke in baseball? Because there's not juking in baseball? What other things have juking? Interesting questions abound. Let me know what you think about all that in the comments below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.